Take that! Whoa, what's the occasion? Little impromptu training session? Well, when I think about fighting Duke, I know I gotta be as strong as I can! Yeah, what he said. I'd expect that from Carol. Yuri brings a twinkle to this old man's eyes to see you training. On second thought, let's call it a day. What? We were just getting started! Never fear! I think I can teach you a thing or two. You can thank me later. <laughs> You're volunteering to help Raven? You're gonna jinx him. <laughs> now, don't be like that. There's no beating an old man once he finds his stride, you know? Oh, really? Guess I'd better keep practicing. We can't count on getting lucky against Duke. All right, Carol. No mercy? No mercy! Fight! Damn, this is huge. It really feels like it reaches the sky. And this thing was just sleeping in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. Is that field around it the formula that's absorbing life force? It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Hey, aren't we in trouble too? If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well, but... Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirit's power is greater than that formula. Can't we just get on Ba'ul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Ba'ul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not! Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. Yay. We don't know what's in store for us. Stay sharp. Is fighting really the only option with Duke? Well, if he's in Tarkaron, then I think we'll have to. If only we can defeat the Autophagos with the spirits before he completes the formula. Do you think he'll just let that happen? As long as he's sacrificing people to achieve his aims at Tarkaron, we have to stop him. <sighs> Are you that conflicted about fighting him? Yes, but we won't win if we go in with doubts. Oh, I don't know. If doubting is part of your nature, you should trust that nature in battle. What? Well said, Judith. Maybe that's the right approach. We're not your typical band of heroes, after all. You do what you can. You take the hits, but you don't lose. Sound about right? Rita. Judith. Thank you. be kept underground for so long. The ancient Garayo civilization. This is more amazing than anything in a book. Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon, because he's going to use it against the Autophagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity. I hope so. The ancient civilization of Garayos. What must the people have been like who lived in an age that produced buildings like this? Well, I'm no expert on their lives, but I have some ideas from the Blastia we've excavated. Except for the Autophagos, from a scientific perspective, their civilization was nearly perfect. Their Blastia would have given them power equal to that of the Antilochea. Oh yeah, otherwise the Antilochea would have wiped them out. People got too much power and destroyed what they built in the process. It's not that uncommon, but there's one part of their legacy we're still paying for. Yep. They left behind the Autophagos for folks who came after them to deal with. 
Maybe they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make it right. You take responsibility. We... We all have to own up to whatever choices we make from now on, too. That's right. If we're gonna make a world without Blastia, we gotta make sure it works. Yeah, absolutely. You know how I hate waiting, Yuri Lowell. And where do you think you're going with me right here? You're alive. Don't you ever die? You just never quit. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want anything to do with you. You're trying to save the world? <laughs> well, the world will go bye-bye if you don't hurry, is that it? If you know that much, then don't get in our way. Oh, no, 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 no! That's what gives it so much meaning! What's this guy talking about? Look! There's a seal further on. If you want to get by, you have to take this arm from my body. You bastard! <laughs> Yuri! If you want to save the world, then you have to go through me! Why? Why are you doing something so meaningless? Meaningless? Oh, but it does mean something. This way, you'll fight with everything you've got! Zoggy, I never thought you were this crazy. Fine. Let's finish this. <laughs> Show me your anger, your rage! Give me everything you've got! Because if you don't, you won't get any higher! <laughs> die, 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 die! Just drop it already! <laughs> I will hunt you down until you're dead. You're dying first. <laughs> yeah, keep talking while you still can. And you shut up! Yeah! Come on! Give me everything you got! We finish this now! And stay dead this time! Stop bothering us! Guess practice makes perfect! I have mastered. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. I can't move. What a weak body. I should change my next body to a Blastia, too. That would be more fun. Right, Yuri? <laughs> Do it in hell. No one understood him. So he put so much meaning on fighting. Poor thing. Still, his skills made him pretty famous. Something happened after he met you all. He really looked like he enjoyed fighting. Maybe he thought that he could let loose with everything when he fought Yuri. So Yuri was the only person he could do that with? What do I care about somebody that crazy? The downfall of someone with too much power. <sighs> We've wasted too much time on this. Let's go. Judy? Okay. Okay, got it. Did something happen to Baul? No, he's fine. I was just asking what it was like outside. How far along is the life-absorbing formula? Baul doesn't know anything about formulas. Yeah, I guess you're right. I told Baul to move around as he saw fit. We should move along too, right? Yeah, let's hurry. Did people really live in this place? I don't know where we're supposed to go next. It's like the place is made to confuse us. It was probably built according to a plan at first, but after all sorts of little improvements, it ended up being the tangled city that it is. Isn't it strange that such an advanced civilization would have such haphazard planning? Maybe they were so advanced that the plans couldn't keep up with the rate of progress. Perhaps they thought technology just a few years old was outdated and changed their plans. There's no use making guesses about what happened to a lost civilization. Let's keep going. You're not interested in figuring out how that lost civilization kept from getting lost? We men will make a path. That's right! Oh, please. So go ahead, lead the way. Those stairs... Seems like the top is just up there. Duke must be there, too. This is the moment of truth. Is everybody ready? I've been ready. Let's do it! Yeah! We have to do this! Right. Even this old man's gonna put up a fight. 
People believe in us. They're waiting for us. We must defeat the Autophagos. For them! And for Pharaoh and Bellius. For the memories of the Intelikea. <clears throat> Let's go. Duke! Duke, we have the four elemental spirits. Their power can counter the Autophagos. There's no need to use people to destroy the Autophagos. Look at its size. Four spirits are nothing against it. They're crucial. We'll make up the rest by turning the Blastia cores to spirits, too. Every single core in the world! And as a bonus, it'll put an end to the Blastia culture that you hate so much. Not too shabby, huh? I doubt humans will hand over their Blastia quietly. Or will you force them? Can you not believe that people can move forward and change? Humans will not let something go once it is in their grasp. So you won't listen. We will destroy the Autophagos our own way. Please, wait just a little longer. And will the world return to its former state? Huh? Will the air be controlled by the Entelikea? Will all life return to a time when nature ruled? No. You are changing this world, our Terka Lumeres. For what? For the convenience of humans. Nothing more. Can't you think that the world might be growing? I think of the Entelikea becoming spirits as evolution. Can't you see that? I would not presume to speak on the choices of the Antelikea. However, I also have my choices. So you won't listen to us because we're humans? You say you can't trust people, so you just drop everything. Then when it's too late, you try to wipe them out? Do you know what this tower is? Tarkaron was once a city, but the ancients turned it into a weapon to destroy the Antelikea. <sighs> To the ancients who did not recognize the threat of the Blastia, the Antelikea who attacked the Blastia were nothing more than a nuisance. And the air went out of balance, and the Autophagos appeared. Only then did humans listen to the words of the Antelikea. Our world has seen many sacrifices, yet humans committed the same offense, and they will again. Those who eat away and ruin this world. Those who would change the world for their own continued existence. They are apostles of destruction greater than even the Atafagos. I made a vow to my friend that I would protect this world. A Lucifer. So Chroma told you. Yeah, she also told us to stop you. She listened to us too and became a spirit. So please, we can do this together. Enough. If the Entelikea would throw away their mission, then I will take it up. I need not wait for your method. Once I complete this formula, the world will be saved. Duke, stop! As long as humans rule, they will commit the same offense time and again. If that happens, their hearts will grow wild and the future will be even more painful. Even if that happens, it's the path we choose. Even if we are hurt or stopped, we can still walk again as long as we don't give up. She's right. You'll never find anything new if you're afraid of making mistakes, of failing. And unlike you, we haven't chosen this path on our own. Everyone decided on it. Yeah, going it alone might be tough, but we're not alone. If one person can't do it, then we do it together. I finally learned that we can walk together like that. That may be sufficient for those who are connected to one another. However, there will always be some who cannot accept a difficult future. You all surely understand that. 
It will be difficult, but that is reality. They will take what changes, think, and change again, both the people and the world. So even if it takes tens, hundreds of years, they will listen someday. I know this now. That's what it means to live. Right. There are things you have to protect, but this old man wants to see what lies ahead for people in the next era. See how the fools change for those who can't see them anymore. We are in contradiction. However, our feelings for the world are no different. How odd. No, it's not. The future we chose, what we see for the future, is different. The future must be protected. If it is not, then destruction awaits. We make the future. You trust the path you choose and create it. It is inevitable. Come. We're gonna kill the Autophagos, so stay out of the way. This isn't a path we chose alone. The Entelechaea, the Kritya, they've chosen the same path. I have no reason to go along with your plan. Could you be any more stubborn? Why won't you listen? We made this choice so humans and Entelechaea could move on together. The Entelechaea will regret that decision, and humans will wish they had died. I won't regret it, no matter what you say. Our resolve runs deeper than that. Even if it means fighting for our lives. Such a foolish conclusion. There is no longer any point in talking. I guess we have to fight. I guess we can't change you. No more! Now I know what Pharaoh saw in you. You're pretty strong yourself. How unfortunate. I wish I could walk together with you all a while longer. Perhaps we would have had a different encounter. It's not too late. It is. My path was set when the Autophagos covered the sky. You stubborn bastard! The best path for an enduring world is to return it to its natural state. That is the path I chose. I will die for that. My friend, give me your strength. Spirits? You fools. How could the Entelechaea agree to such an uncertain plan? It's not uncertain. We did it. The Entelechaea became spirits. Using the spirits to defeat the Autophagos is not a fantasy. You're just clinging to the past. Your memories of him bind you. I feel sorry for you. So I am the only stubborn one? No. I am not mistaken. I will use all my power to eliminate your misguided purpose. Guess practice makes perfect. Stronger and st I'm sorry. Elucifer. I could not keep my promise. I don't know what a Lucifer was like, so this doesn't mean much coming from me. But if El Lucifer fought for humans during the Great War, then I don't think he'd want his friend to reject humanity. A Lucifer's wish to protect the world, peace for all living things.
Yuri! Hurry! I'm on it! Here we go. Estelle, synchronize. Judith, give me support. Okay. Understood. Yuri, let's go! We're counting on you, boss. <sighs> Yuri, you can do it! begins. Truly change? Damn it, come on! So proud to call you my friend, Yuri Lowell. Spirits? You mean all of them? Awesome! All the Antelikea who became Atafagos, they all transformed into these spirits. So the Atafagos was also part of this world. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Was this truly the right thing for us to do? I don't know. We lost all the Blastia, and with that, the barriers are gone. But we chose that path, so I guess we gotta live with it. As long as we're still alive, we'll be okay. You are strong. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because I'm not alone. Hey, Duke! See you around. 